Welcome to Connecting the Dots, our Smart Account and Smart License Learning Series. In this video, we will be providing you with a brief overview of the Cisco Smart Software Manager satellite, including how it works, the benefits, the portals you use to manage your satellites, and the different deployment modes. If you have not already, please watch our Introduction to Smart Account and Smart License videos to understand the basic concepts. Let's understand the most common deployment options with Smart Enabled products. First, there is Direct Cloud Access, where you manage all of your license usage using Smart Software Manager at Cisco.com. And second, there is On-Premise License Management, or Cisco Smart Software SSM Satellite, which replicates the user experience from the Direct Connect method, but provides high security. You may choose options based on your security posture. In this video, we will cover the Cisco SSM Satellite in additional detail. So what is Cisco Smart Software Manager Satellite? Cisco Smart Software Manager Satellite is a component of Cisco Smart Licensing and works in conjunction with the cloud-based Cisco Smart Software Manager to intelligently manage a customer or partner's product licenses, providing near real-time visibility and reporting of the Cisco licenses they purchase and consume. SSM Satellite is an on-prem version of Cisco SSM that can be downloaded free of charge from Cisco.com. It is created for customers who have strict security requirements and do not want their products to communicate with the central licensing database on SSM over a direct internet connection. Most often, this is used by financial institutions, utilities, service providers, and government organizations. So how does CSSM Satellite work? Once the Cisco SSM Satellite is installed on premises and registered with Cisco, devices and software products self-register and report license consumption to the SSM Satellite as though it were a replicate of the Cisco SSM. Customers and partners can then choose to periodically synchronize their local database to the Cisco SSM to ensure the most recent purchases are reflected in their local copy. So what are the benefits of CSSM Satellite? First and foremost, security. Cisco SSM Satellite has a similar experience as direct cloud access, but with higher security. Some users do not want to connect to Cisco SSM with a direct internet connection. With Satellite, customers have a secure on-prem single source of truth of their license consumption. Second, users receive near real-time license entitlements based on the synchronization schedules with the Cisco SSM installed base. Plus, Cisco products interface with the Satellite the same way they do to Cisco SSM. Some disadvantages include operating expenditures of installing and maintaining the software application virtual machine and when manual synchronization is used. Additionally, because CSSM Satellite is a component of smart licensing, users also receive the benefits from smart licensing, including first, having a complete view of all the licenses and devices you own in a central location, second, owning pooled licenses that can be used across various organizations within the company, third, no longer dealing with the node locking of licenses to devices, making RMA simple and easy and removing TAC involvement in the rehosting of PAC keys, and finally, saving time and money through more efficient license usage. CSSM Satellite has a deployment model called the Smart Software Manager Satellite Enhanced Edition. The Satellite Enhanced Edition is primarily targeted for service providers, Cisco partners, and large enterprises who want the ability to manage their own and or multiple customer accounts on a single portal, a term called multi-tenancy. Through Satellite Enhanced Edition's new architecture and platform and more robust management capabilities, it now scales up to 10,000 product instances, 500k devices, and 500 local accounts, and provides online or offline connectivity. Additionally, Enhanced Edition uses the same code base as Cisco SSM. It has a similar look and feel, and customers also get a faster code drop and feature parity as Cisco SSM. To get a more detailed description of Enhanced Edition in the user guide, visit www.cisco.com slash go slash smart satellite. Now let's understand how you can access the Satellite Enhanced Edition functionality. To support the Satellite Enhanced Edition functionality, there are two portals a user will access, the Licensing Portal and the Administration Portal. The Licensing Portal has similar functionality to software.cisco.com and allows a user to manage their local accounts, users, product instances, devices, and licenses. In addition, the account management function, similar to Smart Account Administration, was added to the licensing portal where now users can create new satellite accounts, request access to satellite accounts, and manage satellite accounts and their local virtual accounts. The administration portal functions separately from the licensing portal and allows for internal administrative functions such as user control, local account creation, registration, synchronization, along with network, system, and security settings. It also has options to configure features such as external authentication, syslog, and proxy support. The administration portal is restricted to only authorized users. 
There are different roles users can have within the licensing and administration portals. In the licensing portal, system users can be assigned the roles of a local account user, local account administrator, local virtual account user, and local virtual account administrator. These roles function similarly to smart account and virtual account on Cisco SSM, but at the local level within the satellite. Within the administration portal, users can be system administrators, system operators, or just system users. System users have read-only permission on the administration portal and have role-based access control in the licensing portal. System operators have full admin access to all local accounts, can perform satellite registration and synchronization in the administration portal, but they cannot change any system configurations. System admins have all the abilities as a system operator, plus they can approve and delete local accounts and configure the IP addresses syslog and proxy for the satellite. So essentially, the difference between system admins and system operators is that the system admin can change system parameters, whereas system operators cannot. Now let's understand the two modes for deployment. SSM satellites can be deployed in two modes, connected or disconnected. The connected mode is used when there is connectivity to Cisco.com directly from the satellite. In this mode, license consumption entitlement can be synchronized with Cisco SSM on demand or automatically through daily, weekly, or monthly scheduling. The connected mode is the standard mode for enhanced addition and the easiest to deploy. The disconnected mode is used when there is no connectivity to Cisco.com from the satellite. In this mode, the satellite can be manually synchronized with Cisco SSM via a file upload and download. Now we will quickly demo the Cisco Smart Software Manager Satellite Extended Edition user interface. We will cover the licensing portal and the administration portal. The portal currently on the screen is the administration portal. On the left side of the page, there are icons that follow a desktop look and feel called widgets. On the users widget, you can also add additional local users. The other users that you see here come from an external authentication server called LDAP. They are populated here when users log into the licensing portal. The accounts tab is where a system administrator can create a new satellite account and register it to Cisco SSM. If you are not a system administrator, you can request a new account or access to an existing account on the licensing portal and the system administrator can approve it. During the approval process, the satellite account is registered to Cisco SSM before it can become operational and accept product registrations. Back in the administration portal, the network tab is where you can configure network interfaces for the satellite. We support up to four interfaces, but only two can be HTTPS. You can also configure proxy in this widget. The settings tab allows you to configure various system parameters, such as message of the day, external authentication such as LDAP or 0 auth 2 syslog support, and email server. The synchronization tab allows you to perform on-demand or scheduled synchronizations to Cisco SSM for system administrators and system operators. And finally, software download is for system administrators to populate the software images for customers to download directly from their satellites if they purchase them in their smart account. Going on to the licensing portal, you can see that it has the same look and feel as Cisco SSM. You can request a new account, access to an existing account, manage accounts which are functions of account management, similar to Smart Account Administrator, or click on Smart Licensing for functions similar to Cisco SSM. The satellite account name is here on the upper right hand side. You can also request access to a new account or access to an existing account here if you are not the system administrator. Your request will be approved by the system admin. Manage accounts allows you to create local virtual accounts, enable role-based access such as account administrator, account user, local virtual account administrator, or local virtual account user. Clicking on smart licensing takes you to the same options as you would see on Cisco SSM except these operations are local to the satellite. If you click on inventory, you can see the local virtual accounts, licenses, and product instances registered locally to the satellite. Registered product instances and consumed licenses are reflected on the virtual account associated with the satellite on Cisco SSM, and newly available licenses are updated on that licensing portal of the satellite account once the synchronization occurs. And there you have it. We've now gone over a quick demo of the licensing and administration portals. If you are looking for additional resources, check out Cisco Smart Software Manager's satellite page and Sales Connect for more information. Thank you for watching this video as we covered a high-level overview of Cisco Smart Software Manager's satellite.